Yo, what is going on guys? It's your boy Zard here. Welcome back to another video. Today we have this vid video to watch that has been going pretty viral about Pokimane and a story she told about one of her past editors from a while ago. But before we get into all that, make sure you guys leave a like, subscribe to the channel, do all that good shit. Follow my other social media's link down in the description. I have a Patreon. Go read up on that. I'm not going to waste your guys' time with it. Except I am a little bit. Five dollars a month, and you get. If you subscribe to, it, I guarantee you get to be featured in a video. So go do it. All right, I, I, I'm done wasting y'all's time. And make sure you subscribe, or you're gay. And if you are gay, subscribe, or you're fucking. I don't know, straight. And if you're bisexual, I guess. I guess. I guess you just have to subscribe at that point. But let's talk about this thing that's going on lately. So P Pokemon was streaming lately. Yeah, I know. Nobody fucking cares. Neither do I. Neither do I, guys. Don't worry. I don't fucking care either. But she was streaming, and she told a story about her freaky-ass editor in the past. And this is just fucking hilarious. I mean, I think this is a pretty funny story. Um, apparently, he couldn't... He Like, he would be late on videos all the time. And he, like, just pulled to her side, and he's like, You know what? The reason I'm, I'm so late on my videos is because I'm just stroking my fucking chode to him while I edit. Which is just a... Cr like, who said... Okay, I'm not... I'm gonna stop yapping. Let's watch the video. Let's watch it. Hey, do you have time to talk? I'm ready to finally tell you why I've been struggling so much with deadlines. And I said, oh, like, great. Hopefully this is something that we can fix. Tell me why he proceeds to tell me that the reason why he would sometimes turn around videos a week or two late is because he couldn't stop Touching himself? I was trying to pick which word to use. To me, his, in a way, employer. Bro, in her position, I don't even know why she would even employ a dude knowing how her fan base is. Maybe this guy wasn't. No, if it's an editor, I'm pretty sure it was a fan of hers. So I don't even know why in her position she would employ any dudes for her shit knowing how freaky her fan base is like she knows damn well how freaky her fucking fan base is i'm sure she's seen the nut tributes that those fucking dudes be doing to her so it's not a fucking shocker that her editor that is most likely a fan of hers is saying this shit because her fucking fan base has always been the weirdest people on the planet and another thing I don't know how people are able to bring themselves to say that shit. Like, like even if he actually was doing that, which is already weird in the first place. How, like, what fucking possesses you to tell them? Like, if I was an editor and I was doing that, that would be my deepest, darkest secret that I would take to the grave. Because that is just too damn freaky. I feel like the internet... The internet is a good... I'm, a, I'm one of those people that thinks the internet isn't all bad like a lot of people think. I think there is good parts to the internet. But I think this is definitely one of the bad parts of the internet. Where people have just gotten way too fucking comfortable. Like, there's no world you would say that in real life to someone that employs you. Like, you're doing, like, a favor. Like, say you're a contractor. Someone contracts you to do a job and you're like, Hey, man. Imagine going up to your fucking actual employer at a real-life job. And going, hey, um, boss, I just... I just can't get my work done. I am I'm late on all my dues on work because I've just been I just been jerking off to you too much. Who says that? Like, dude, this is what this is one of the bad sides of the internet is that people are way too damn comfortable. Like this guy needs like at that like at that point, bro, like don't, go touch grass, man. Go touch grass. This guy clearly is too damn freaky. He needs to go talk to some real humans. Not fucking just online interactions. That's another thing. Just only talking to people online and not talking to people in person. Just apparently, I guess, does that to a motherfucker. Like, almost every person I've met or heard of that's, like, terminally online is, like, fucking weirdly freaky like that. Just, like, like the biggest fucking porn-addicted horn dog you've ever seen. But, okay, we're, just, we're going to let the rest of this clip play out real quick first. Here of many, many months. When I tell you I've never halted a conversation so fast, because I'm like, you are the person that I send, like, hours of footage to. I don't want to know what you're... Hey. Let's hope 
let's just hope for her sake that she never like would change clothes in her videos or anything and like ask that to be edited out and that's just another situation of why would you trust a dude like and i i know that oh, i know that that's shitty that i have to say that i guess but at the same time you know your fan base you know how your fan base is you know how freaky they are which is that's just another thing bro like i don't know how these people these motherfuckers like these tier three pokemon subs like fucking like live their lives knowing that they're just such a fucking loser and their lives and their income surround like revolves around a fucking woman a woman online that they just obsess over like, i don't know if like this is a well-known fact anymore but they like her subscribers are like obsessed with her like they like and like she has stalkers and shit like they think that she's like their actual girlfriend because they sit there and tier three sub to her it's just so like and i just don't understand and it's such a phenomenon too like the, every fucking female twitch streamer has some crazy simps like that but no one no twitch streamer like has a fan base that is like that much just white knights for Pokemon that much and just simps over as hard as her fan base. It's just the weird and the craziest part is she's like she's mid. Like I don't even know why people like go like these dudes are going crazy over her in the fucking first place. I'm not even just saying that. Like she is like she like bro, like dude, you're crashing out over that shit. Are you serious right now? And the funniest part, the funniest part is this isn't even like the first time that something similar to this has happened to her before. The first time I remember something, I've seen a clip of something like this that happened to her that went pretty viral, is when that fucking, like, back in, like, peak OG Fortnite, she got paired in a random duos match with this little kid. Like, he sound like, if I had to guess from the kid's voice, he's probably, like, 12, and that's pushing it. And he was just getting freaky mode on the Fortnite randoms with her. Like... Like, even the kids are infected by her fucking virus. Like, I don't even know what's going on. Like, I... It's just so weird how, like, if the second you subscribe to her on Twitch, you just become, like, a complete incel weirdo. Like, I don't know. It's just the... It's just the Pokemon effect. You The second you hit that Twitch Prime sub, you just become the most fucking basement dweller fucking weird person on the fucking planet. And apparently the effect happens to children too because of this kid that this was like a six year old clip by the way which is just crazy to me that this shit happened six years ago but that's a whole nother fucking topic even this little ass kid was get like he hit that sub button and like he just went freaky mode like that's just what happens when you sub to her you just go freaky mode and like you just become a complete incel that never leaves your fucking computer I'm, I'm gonna play this clip because this is just a classic it's a classic i'm sure a lot of you guys have seen this one Like, this is so crazy that, like, I can't believe it's not scripted. Like, I have to remind myself that this isn't scripted every time I see it because it sounds so scripted. But there's no way you could set this up back then. You can't fucking... You can't script this. You can't get thrown into a duo match perfectly how you want it... To, how you want your script to go. It's not going to work, which is just wild. This happened live, too. I'm 12. I knew it. I fucking... I, dude, I was literally spot on, wasn't I? I, I actually haven't watched this clip again in preparation to, for this video, but now I say he sounded like 12. Dude, I'm a fucking genius. I'm, I'm like, so fucking smart, bro. Something I like to call illegal. Oh. Wait, are you Pokemon? <laughs> oh my no, god. No, you can't be Pokemon. He's hot. What do you mean? Am I not hot? I don't know. I, I... Why is she low-key egging it on, though? That's kind of freaky of her. Bro, um, this is like everything about her and her fan base is just too freaky, bro. Put her in jail. Put everyone in jail. Dude, her whole fan base needs to be arrested and never fucking give them the keys. Holy shit. I guess. Yo, I'm sweating right now. Are you actually <laughs> Do you see anyone near you? No. I saw people land here. Oh my god, I beat my meat to you. Wait, no, are you actually 
I really hope. Okay, well, I guess if this video didn't get copyright, I'm not going to copyright it. Bro, like, bro, of course the comments are turned off on this post five years ago. That's so fucking crazy. But, fuck, bro, like, what is with, like, why is she, the fact that she eggs it all on too is just, like, even weirder. I mean, I guess, like, she gets money off of it. So, like, I mean, that's probably why she's fucking egging it on. So, I, I mean, I guess, you know, fucking do your hustle, I guess. But, yeah, that's basically all I have to say. I think this whole, like, shit with her is just fucking crazy. Um, she just needs to restart, bro. No, that's what I think she needs to do. She just needs to delete her whole channel and start from scratch because her fan base is too damn freaky. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Leave a like, subscribe, or you're gay. And if you are gay, do it or you're, sh or you're straight. Um, fucking leave a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think. How freaky do you guys think the average Pokemon viewer is? Let me know down below. If that all being said, guys, I hope you all enjoy. I'll see you all in the next one.